Today's notes are complex fractions, and the name is a pretty good name because these are complex. Um, at the top, if you read along with me, it says a complex fraction contains one or more fractions in its numerator, denominator, or both. And here's some examples. So here we only have a fraction in the denominator. In the next one, we have one fraction in the numerator. And then we have two fractions, one both in the numerator and denominator. So to simplify a complex fraction, I want you to look at it as a division problem. So for example, numerically, I want you to divide 5 6 by 2 thirds. Now realize whether you write it up and down, that's the same as if you were to write it across. Okay? And remember, when dividing fractions, we do the keep, change, flip. Okay? 5 6 times 3 halves, we end up multiplying at 15 over 12, and then Again, if possible, we simplify. So the steps are there, okay? You want to simplify the numerator if possible, um, simplify the denominator if you can, and then do your keep, change, flip. So I just want you for a moment to ignore the bottom, okay? We're just going to focus on the top or the numerator of that fraction. So I'm going to draw my line. Right now, I'm going to make both of those terms within that numerator of fraction. And so I need to get common denominators in order to combine them. So I multiply this by x, multiply this by 1. So now I end up with x over x plus 1 over x. I'm going to continue to simplify. Okay? Common denominators means I keep the denominator and combine the numerators. I can't add the 1 to the x, so I simply write it x plus 1. Now that numerator is completely simplified. Step 1 is done. Now I'm going to go back and look at the denominator that I had. If I don't have a fraction, and one of them, you make it a fraction, and we follow the rules for adding and subtracting with unlike. We multiply the left side by the right denominator and the right side by the left. So now I have x squared times 1, x squared over x squared times 1 is x squared, minus 1 times 1, 1, x squared times 1, x squared. Keeping the denominator the same, so that stays x squared. And I can't take away 1 from x squared, so I simply write x squared minus 1. Now this is where you want to do the keep, change, flip. And as I do the keep, change, flip, to save myself some writing, I factor when possible. So this stays the same, x plus 1 over x. This gets changed to multiplication and flip. So the x squared now is going to go up top, and then the x minus or x squared minus 1 is going to go in the denominator. And again, as I rewrite over here, I factor. That's dots, so x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now I simply multiply, which when I'm multiplying, I simplify first, which means to cancel. You can cancel an x here with an x there, leaving 1. And we multiply straight across, and I'm left with x over, well this says a plus 1, this should actually be a minus 1 to get that negative product. So it should be x over x minus 1. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get um, our numerators simplified, our denominator simplified, do the keep, change, flip, and now I have a multiplication problem. So the first thing I'm going to check is that I have fractions on both sides. So in the numerator, multiply this side by 16, this side by 1, and I end up with x squared over 16 minus 16 over 16. I focus on the numerator first, 
combining it to one fraction, and then I work on the denominator. So denominators are the same. Keep the denominator. So now that's simplified. This one I'm going to multiply by 8 by 2. So I end up with 2x over 16 minus 8 over 16. And keeping the denominator the same, I can't take away 8 from 2x. So I write 2x minus 8 over 16. Keep change flip. And as I keep it the same, I'm going to factor, that's dots in the numerator, x plus 4 times x minus 4 over 16. Change this to multiplication and then flip. Now it's multiplication. So I just simply factor and cancel. So I can cancel this. This has a GCF of 2. Now I can cancel that, and my answer is going to be x plus 4 over 2. And number 3, I need to first rewrite that 8 with a 1 underneath, so it's a fraction. Again, I'm going to focus on the numerator. So times 4 times x. We end up with 16 over 4x plus 2x over 4x, which gives me 16 plus 2x over 4x. I want to try in the next one to see if we can go right from here to here, because you can see this denominator, 4x, matches the 4x I get there. So let's try number 4 to skip that one step. So this one I multiply by 2x times 2x times 1 times 1. So we end up with 1 over 2x minus 16x over 2x. So that becomes 1 minus 16x all over 2x. Keep change flip. Keep the top, change multiplication, flip. So 16 plus 2x all over 4x times 2x divided by 1 minus 16x. 16 plus 2x has a GCF of 2, so this is 2 times 8 plus x. And I'm going to cancel 2x with 4x, that would be a 2. 2 with 2, and I'm left with x plus 8 over 1 minus 16x. Now, as we mentioned, I want to try to go right from here to here. As you can see, the denominator stays the same, just to save some writing. Make it a little bit shorter. I first need to put 1's underneath both of these. So multiply this side by 1, this side by 3, and our denominator is going to be 3. So I'm going to come leave, again I'm trying to skip a step, that's going to be all over 3. So I have 2 times 1, 2, minus 3 times x, which is 3x. And the bottom, times 9, times 9, times 1, times 1. You can see our denominator, 9 times 1, 9 times 1 is 9. And then in the numerator, 9 times x squared, is 9x squared, and then 4 times 1 is 4. Keep change flip as we factor. Can't factor 2 minus 3x. Change 9's up top, and this is actually dots. So that's 3x plus 2 times 3x minus 2. Now I can cancel. 3, 9 is 3. Um, this here is the negative 1 rule, so cancel it out, make sure you put your negative 1. So now when I multiply across, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, and then I'm at or left with 3x plus 2. Last one, and then the last one happens to have a binomial denominator. So let's first again put these over 1 so we can combine our fractions. 
To get common denominators, we multiply this side by 1, this side by a minus b. So I end up with 1 times a minus b, which is a minus b, 1 times b, so plus b, all over the common denominator of a minus b times 1, which is a minus b. That simplifies to, well, a negative b and a positive b cancel out. So that becomes a over a minus b. Multiply by 1, multiply by 1, multiply by a minus b. Again, our denominator is going to be a minus b as a minus b times 1, a minus b times 1 is a minus b. 1 times a minus b is a minus b. And then this time we're going to subtract a times 1, which is a. So the a's cancel out. And we're left with negative b over a minus b. Keep change flip. Well, this one's a little bit easier as when I do the keep change flip, there's nothing to factor. There's no GCFs, there's no dots, there's no trinomials. So when I keep it the same, it's a over a minus b. Change, flip, a minus b over negative b. Cancel those. We're left with a over negative b.